Hey, Internet friend, Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. You got your uh, duck or loon? I'm from Minnesota, so this is a loon for me. <laughs> so I've got a new friend I just met here. He's got his coffee, and uh, he's just down 35W. We're in Minnesota. He's down in Texas. We're men or men, and we won't even go there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? I'm doing fantastic, Tom. but I'm improving. I keep on getting mixed up because I know you got them Todd Talks. I almost, right, I, I have I just, my Todd Talks, and then I have two first names, two last names. Well, that's the way to do it. You know, I, I use Magic Brad on the Internet because there's a lot of Brents and Brandons and Brians and other Brads, and you got to do something to be unique. So, thumbs up. I like it. Perfect. I love Magic Brad. <laughs> it works. Except for I get uh, Brad Pitt once in a while if I do Bradvertising. He's got that one. <laughs> but no big deal. Just don't try to do Brangelina. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Is that is that used? Actually, I think it is. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, I don't know. I mean, they you know how they put the two names together and. Uh. Very good. <laughs> okay, so you're down in Texas near Dallas. Yeah. I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth area, correct? Okay, how long have you been down there? Well, I I've lived in Texas all of my life. Um, I've been in the Dallas Fort Worth area since about 1995. Um, after a short stint. In, a, in the radio business that took me away from Dallas Fort Worth area from 1986 to 95. So I basically have been here for, since 1983, but Texas all of my life. Okay. And got uh, married kids, family, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yep. Married 27 years. I have four wow. kids, uh, one college baseball player. Uh, well, he just graduated now. And then I have one that's a United States Marine. Hoorah. And then I have uh, two younger ones that are still in school, a senior in high school. And my daughter, she's my only girl. She's my youngest, a freshman in high school. Okay. Um, I was looking at some of your videos and stuff. So you're a speaker, right? Motivational speaker or team building or what? Do you have a niche? Um, sure. Uh, what I really try to do, and it's it's one of my, uh, uh, my top six values. <laughs> I carry these around in my wallet uh, and I review them fairly frequently my top six values and one of them is encouragement there they are uh, shows my values and and what i value most okay. that doesn't mean they're the only ones i have but encouragement inspiration motivation and that's what my uh that's what my channel is about that's what my speaking is about uh, that's what my writing is about now i direct it a lot towards you know either athletic teams teams and groups a lot of times that brings in the uh, into play network marketing teams and stuff like that. Sure. There's a friend of mine that uh, built a network marketing business and he targeted sports teams, which is very, very smart. He went to the captain and the, and the quarterback and then he worked to them and that's how his network grew because there's already a team. What the heck? Absolutely. <laughs> Pretty smart, huh? And those guys are the leaders. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. So are you a member of the national speakers association? I am not. I'm, I'm not, not either. I'm uh, not I'm, either. What's that now? <laughs> I'm a magician, and I've always thought about joining, and then I just, uh, I just haven't done it. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a member of a lot of uh, speaker and speaker groups, um, but not uh, of the NSA. But I plan on it. That, that's, uh, that's on the agenda. Well, you never know. It's a, uh, the, the I, back in the days, I was a member of uh, Meeting Professionals International and the International Live Events Association. Uh, it just uh, it really takes up over your pocketbook to be a member of all those associations, and then your schedule. You know, trying to go to all their meetings and stuff. It's a bit of a challenge. Yeah, it makes me. Uh, you saying that makes me think of my uh, my son, my my son Trace, who's a senior in high school, and he's a. Uh, uh, baseball player. He's very good. He's being recruited by a bunch of schools. And then they all want him to come to their camp. And guess what? It costs money. Yeah. You can't go to all of them. I'll be broke. Exactly. Uh, if I took all that money and just put it towards college, I'd have the college paid for. <laughs> yeah. And it's not just the money. It's also the time, which is uh, sure. an interesting element to me. Um, people have said time is money, but that's not true because if time was money, we'd all have the same amount, right? And True, because we, we all have the same amount of time. Right. And uh, that's the one thing that's, uh, I, I'm big on time because and time management or effective use of time because there's 24 hours in a day and we're barraged with information constantly all the time now. So it's really hard to schedule and prioritize your time. So you can't spread yourself all over all those places. Well, I, I talk about time a lot too. And, and the way I talk about it is 
now really now is all we have we right. only have now um future is uh i don't Not know guaranteed. It's, it's out there it's in the future does it ever really arrive because we, we're always in the now moment the right. past is like a cancel check um we can't live in either the future or the past and that's what a lot of people get in trouble doing in their lives exactly they live in the future by worrying or they live in the past, you know, trying to relive their glory days or whatever, when mm-hmm. now is the only moment that we actually have. Very true. I think you can, you can have the future and you can kind of uh, look forward and have some vision. Sure. But there's no guarantee you're going to get there. I've had some visions and I sometimes it just doesn't work. It's a different path than I thought, you know. It's great to dream about the future and reminisce about the past. Yeah. Those great and fun things to do and healthy. Mm-hmm. But... Now's what now's the uh, the moment that counts. Yeah. Do you ever do like um, retreats and things like that? You know, I don't, but I do know a lot of people that do, and and uh, they have developed big followings doing that. I think maybe as uh, time goes and I continue to grow my following community, I think that might f- uh, fall into uh, my model at some point, but uh, I do not. Right See, now. I'm, I'm working on a project with a friend of mine that has land in Costa Rica and we're looking to develop an event center and then nice. be able to go there for masterminds and stuff. Cause it helps, you know, you're talking about the past and the future kind of thing. When you're right. at home, you're thinking, I got to go to work. I got to get some done in the office or, Oh my God, I got bills to pay from the past. Your mind is not in the moment, but when you go someplace that's sort of uh, away from all the, the norm, you can kind of get in that neutral spot and be in the now. So exactly. that's, uh, that's the idea behind it. That's why I asked that because uh, it's getting to be more popular where like corporations will take their teams away. And th- they used to take them to these fancy five-store hotels and stuff, but now they're starting to take them to more secluded areas where you can kind of, you know, you can, you can meditate as a CEO and you won't get laughed at. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Sitting with your legs crossed and your thumb and oh my. CEO, yeah, OM, CEO. No, it's a great idea. Uh, and uh, Costa Rica, beautiful, beautiful place. So, do you have any programs that you got that are up and coming? You got anything like uh, online programs, or I know you got your podcast, your your YouTube channel. I think it is. Right, I, I'm very active on my on my YouTube channel. I do videos several times a week, and um, people can find that at uh, youtube.com forward slash. It's kind of long. It's Todd Thomas, It Factor Guy, but. Um, it's, it's, it's not hard. It's just kind of long. But, <laughs> excuse me, I do have on my website uh, at todd-thomas.com, I've got a what I call a performance breakthrough system. And I will meet with people uh, like in a free session initially just to see if we have a connection, if they like me, if they feel like they trust me, if they like what I teach. Mm-hmm. And so that's totally free. And then, of course, then I have my f- a breakthrough system that uh, we go through six months of um working on the barriers to get out of our own way, to get out of our head and help to release more of our untapped potential into the world. Right. Um, just a sidebar, do you, do you do stuff on Facebook? Um, I do. Uh, Todd, uh, it's facebook.com forward slash it's Todd Thomas. Okay. That's my Facebook page. I mean, with Facebook Lives, do you do those? I do, but not okay. as frequently... I'm more active on YouTube. Well, I might be interested in connecting with you because I just learned that you can do like a side-by-side. Yes, yes. And what happens is go out to my feed and your feed so we can get on there and do some little chats, see we're on the same time zone and stuff. Uh, I do a lot of videos too, but it gets lonely out there. (laughs) It does. So it'll be nice to bring you on. I didn't know about that feature either. Somebody was telling me that they were on uh, doing a Facebook Live one time and they saw something about invite and they didn't really know what they were doing and and they clicked the invite button or whatever. And next (laughs) thing you know, Somebody else was on, and he was saying, what are you doing here? <laughs> he didn't realize he had brought them on. Uh, exactly. Yeah, that's a cool new feature on Facebook. Well, I believe that video is going to be the next thing that's happening because, like, this is the closest thing to being there. Um, you know, you Absolutely. can write blogs. You can do graphics and put out emojis and all that kind of stuff, but it's not the same. So being able to have a cadence in our voice and get passionate about things and move and gesture and all that, video, Absolutely. I think, is where it's going. Well, and people can hear the... The meaning in your voice, the meaning of what you say, you know, in the in the written word, as much as I like it, <laughs> um, sometimes, especially in social media, yeah. things get taken wrong. <laughs> Send somebody a text and they don't hear how you're saying it, the inflection in your voice. And that's why video is so great because they can, you can hear that, oh, that's in jest or... Um, 
Right. It's much easier to decipher and not get angry about. It's like that uh, that thing with uh, let's eat grandpa. <laughs> Remember that thing with the, with the comma? Let's eat grandpa. Let's eat grandpa. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, sir. I love that one. Okay. But is there anything else you want to share? Because I, like I said, I don't do these too long. And then what happens with this is I take and I beam them up to the internet and I propagate them out on the world and put keywords in and hashtags and all that kind of stuff. So if there's anything that's specific, what is it? What is? Do you have a goal or objective that you're trying to accomplish? Do you like to talk with corporate? You said uh, sports teams. Is that professional or high school or college or? Well, um, I've spoke with spoken with college and high school teams, not professional at this point, but I'd I would certainly welcome that. Um, I was at an event recently uh, with a, a top money earner from a network marketing company, and he told me, he said, man, you should really uh, target and go after and help uh, network marketing groups and organizations and teams mm -hmm. uh, because they're all about personal development and, and, and learning how to be better so they can perform better. And he sure. said, trust me, he said, leaders that, that believe that you can help their, their team grow and perform at a higher level will have you in all day long. For sure. I would like to share this, and I know you know a little bit about it, uh, Brad, but that's my, my Todd Talk uh, mm -hmm. thing that I have going on. And it's an opportunity for people to either win $1,000 well. or have $1,000 <laughs> donated to their favorite charity, which is what I would prefer that they do. Um, it's me. I'm going to either pay, give somebody a thousand dollars or I'm going to give a thousand dollars to their favorite charity in their name. If they win my Todd talk contest. Okay. And what they, all it is, is it's a two minute video, two minutes or less, at least 30 seconds long, two minutes or less, a message of encouragement, motivation, or inspiration to someone or to the world in general. And all they have to do is record that video, upload it to YouTube. Put Todd Talk in the title and description. Submit the link to me. I put it on my Todd Talks page, Todd Talks of the World page. And then at the end of September, me and my team are going to pick a winner. And the winner is going to win $1,000 or have $1,000 donated to their favorite charity. I'm going to do it. Name. I'm going to do it. Good. Yeah, do it. Do <laughs> Give it. it a shot. And you can get you can find more information about that at toddtalk.net. That's my other website. Toddtalk.net. Dot net and up in the upper right hand corner just click the link that says win one thousand dollars okay very cool well um before we sign off uh you know a good friend of mine is eric worry you're talking about the network marketing world he's very yeah. very popular in that network marketing world and heck i'd like to talk to you more about that because i'm not currently involved in any of those programs but i have been and i'm still interested in it and i think that it's broken and needs to be fixed and part of it is that going focus more on the team building and the motivational, inspirational, personal development aspect of it. The disconnect that I see there is that so many people um, come into that with hopes and dreams, but they don't have the really the mindset. And that's why network right. marketing companies and leaders and stuff want to teach that. But there's a little bit of a disconnect there because sometimes these people, as much as they want to do it, um, they don't... Um, They've got some mental blocks, if you will, uh, that I talk about perfectionism or fear or negative self-talk that disconnects them from really being able to embrace that mm -hmm. personal development in yep. the right way. There's and definitely. I can help them overcome that. Got it. That, that's very needed in the industry. Um, I, I just, for the heck of it, I posted a pro and con thing on Facebook and I got a huge string of people that were pro and con. And it's pretty interesting because people that are against it are against it. They think it's a right. scam. They think it's illegal. It's not. It's not. And the people that are for it <laughs> are for it. And um, it, it was just a very interesting topic. And I think, uh, like, I had a conversation with Eric about, um, I think that people that get into it should have a probationary period. Because if they're an accountant and they decide to get out of accounting and they joined a network marketing company, just because they paid the 500 bucks or 1000 bucks doesn't mean they know how to run a business. Right. And they go out <laughs> and they go all over everybody and they give it a bad name. So... Anyways, I'm going to sign this off. If you want to stick on, Todd, we'll have a little more of a chat. Sure. And uh, I'm just going to beam this up to the Internet, and we'll uh, go fishing for people. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks Todd. Peace.